Hi guys, it's me Justine and today I'm going to be talking about the convention I went to for the 100 on the weekend called Unity Days. I've made videos on Unity Days the last few years. Uh, this was the third convention and I've been to all three. <laughs> last year's was supposed to be the last one, but then Sachin, uh, who is a cast member on the 100, he convinced them to have another one, so thank you, Sachin. <laughs> and now he's trying to convince them to have a fourth one, so you never know at this point what could happen. <laughs> uh, he, I think he joked around about, like, just running it himself, like, <laughs> he'll have the convention. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, so I think this was the last Unity Days. <laughs> but yeah, it was such an amazing time. Once again, it always is. Yeah, I'm just gonna be <laughs> talking about it. I'll just start with the first day, the Friday. I took the ferry over to Vancouver because I don't live in Vancouver uh, where the convention takes place. Uh, and I went shopping and then we went to the hotel and we registered for the convention. And every year we've gotten these little wristbands um, and they're kind of annoying because you can't loosen them so they told us this time like don't tighten them too much because you won't be able to get it off and I learned that the first year <laughs> they didn't tell us that and I like tightened it and tried to get it off and I couldn't so they cut mine off and put a new one on but Anyway, <laughs> I didn't make that mistake this year. So yeah, we got the wristbands and they gave me a little, I had ordered a one, like you can order or get selfies with the cast and you have to pay, it's like 35 bucks for a selfie, which I know seems like <laughs> a lot. You're just paying to get a, take a selfie with someone. But I did it, I just did one. Um, and it, you can do it with any cast member. So they gave me this little selfie ticket thing and then I already had my pho professional photo op um, tickets with me. That night, um, there was a dance party at the convention. Uh, I was free with the admission, which was nice. I didn't know there would be like food and stuff there. So there were like chips and dip, and there were these really good des desserts, like this chocolate mousse thing, and like tiramisu, and oh, it was really good. <laughs> then they brought in pizza. They had the 100 themed drinks, which was cool. They had like the character names, and then what the drink was beside it, and I ended up getting the um, Long Island iced tea. My drink was $12. I cannot talk today. <laughs> My drink was $12, and that was a lot um, for me. I've never paid that much for any drink, but I did. I was like, oh, it's a special occasion. Like, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna splurge. And I felt a little weird after having it, <laughs> after about 20 minutes. My mom and I took some pictures by uh, they had like a Unity Days um, little setup, this like big poster, what do you call it? A backdrop. <laughs> and we took a picture by that backdrop. And then um, we were just standing around eating and stuff and <laughs> I decided to go pour some water for myself after my drink was done. I was pouring it and in these containers there's like a ton of ice in them and I and no more water was coming out so <laughs> I like I just I dumped it and ice went everywhere and um, like I said I was a little I was a little loopy at this point and I look up and I was like laughing I look up and I see this girl like standing there like laughing too and she was like are you Justine from YouTube and I was like yes I am <laughs> and I just spilled ice all over the floor she had seen my uh, YouTube, I don't know, it was probably my Unity Days video and some of my other ones, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> and she said, okay, oh, I take a picture with you? And we took a picture and that was so cool and I was like, well, I want to get one on my phone too. <laughs> I want to remember this girl coming up to me and saying she's watched my videos because that doesn't happen like that often. Um, so I took a picture with her. I'll probably show it on the screen right now. I forget her name. I know I asked for her name, but I, my memory is not good, <laughs> especially after I had that drink. If you're watching this, thank you for coming up to me. That was really cool. Now let's get to the actual convention. <laughs> I'm talking too much about Friday and the cast wasn't even there. So the convention started at like 10 a.m. on Saturday. The first panel was like the welcome panel and Sachin, Lola, and Eliza, I think. Were they the only ones in the panel? I'm pretty sure. I don't really remember much from that panel, but um, like, that was my first time seeing Lola Flannery. Um, she was on 
Um, she was introduced in the season before, was it the end of season four, and then she's in season five, like, I think most episodes, and she's such a good actress, and she's only 13, I think, and, oh, she, she's, she's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, that was a good panel, even though I don't remember <laughs> much about it. I think, like, later on after that panel, I met Erica Sarah, who played Allie on the show, and her character was very cool. Um, she played like an AI, like artificial intelligence. And it, in one of the panels she was in, someone asked her if she could like impersonate Allie, because if you've watched The 100, you'll know like Allie's voice. Um, she's like, hello, how are you? <laughs> like, I, I can't do it. But yeah, and she did it and it was like Allie was there and it was very cool. I was hoping someone would ask that. I should have asked it myself. I always forget that I can ask questions at these panels, but I never asked a question so <laughs> so yeah my mom and I went and got our first picture with Erica she was so sweet I just said oh it's so nice to meet you and my mom came in the picture too and Erica was, was like oh hold on I gotta cover my tummy a bit and <laughs> and that was funny and then we got the picture and I have the pictures right here so I will find Erica's here is my mom me and Erica and it's not gonna focus is it <laughs> but yeah, she's so pretty and nice, and I'm really happy we met her. <laughs> Later on, we met uh, Lola. She's just, she's adorable. She's, she seems like such a nice girl. Here's our picture with Lola. So cute. And her sh I love her shirt. It says, you must be kidding me. I have a shirt similar that says a similar thing, so I should have worn that that day. If it's not focused, I will put the picture up. <laughs> so yeah. That's us and Lola. So what else happened? Um, my mom and I saw Tati Gabrielle, who plays Gaia on the show. She's also in The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, which I've only watched one episode of. <laughs> so she's gaining popularity from that now, which is awesome. Uh, but we saw her um, waiting to get in the elevator, and she had her little do dog, and the dog was so cute. It like wasn't on a leash, um, but it was like so well behaved. And, wasn't getting freaked out by all the people wanting to pet it. <laughs> it just wanted attention, I think. And yeah, that was really coot. Coot. That was really coot. <laughs> and then I also saw Jared, Jared Joseph, um, in the lobby. At these conventions, you just see the cast, you know, everywhere. Like, it's really cool. Like, it's like they're just normal people and you see them just walking around, you know. It's cool. <laughs> and then later on that day, we met Shannon Cook, or is it Cook? I'm horrible at pr pronouncing names, like I should know <laughs> how to pronounce, but yeah. Anyway, he was so nice. He's from New Zealand. I didn't realize he had an accent, but then when I heard him in the, like, I, maybe I did know. I just forgot. <laughs> and um, I heard him talk in the panel and I was like, oh wow, <laughs> okay. <laughs> My mom and I got a picture with him and he was like, oh, get in real close and we were like, okay. <laughs> and, he just, yeah, he just seemed like such a, like, humble, like, down-to-earth guy, and he's really smart, too. Like, um, some of the questions he was, they were asked in the panels and his responses, like, very thought out, like, well, not thought out, because he didn't have much time to think about the answers, but very, just, he's very well-spoken. So here is us and Shannon. I really don't think it's focusing. <laughs> Maybe it is now. Ooh, that looks good kind of focused. Yeah, so that's us and Shannon. Yeah, such a sweet guy. He's awesome. And he he plays Jordan. <laughs> he is um, Monty and Harper's son on the show. He was only in the last episode of the show, so we haven't seen much of him yet, but his character I'm sure will be in a lot of the next season, and I feel like he's gonna be one of my new favorite characters, like, already, just from the last epi episode, like, yeah, he's gonna be great. But it's funny because Chelsea was at the convention, Chelsea Reese, and she plays Harper, who is his mom. If you watch, okay, that won't make sense to anyone who doesn't watch the show um, because they're like the same age, but it, I don't wanna get into that right now, but she plays his mom. It was funny in some of the panels there. She was like, oh, what if um, me and Shannon started dating in real life and then, it's like the mo I'm like his mom. I'm his mom on the show, and I'm dating my son. <laughs> like it was it was really funny. 
Um, that would be weird. <laughs> I have like notes on my phone of stuff that happened. Lola talked about a prank war um, that was going on with Richard, Har Richard Harmon. She like put saran wrap over his toilet seat and then Richard said like, oh, I'm gonna get you good next time. And then in one of the panels, Eliza was like, oh, I know what Richard's gonna do. And Lola was like, what? What's he gonna do? And she was so freaked out. She was like, oh, can you tell me? Like, but Eliza didn't say anything, so, but apparently it's pretty bad, that's what Eliza said. And then Richard, the next day, on the Sunday, he said, like, oh, like, it's gonna be bad, like, I, I really hope I, or they share what happened, because I really want to know now. <laughs> oh yeah, Sachin. Sachin is, like, uh, the king of, like, puns, and he was saying that the hundred should be called the hugdred, because there are, the whole cast is so uh, huggy and um, yeah, so <laughs> and he said it, he had a ton of different puns. I can't even remember what they are. I didn't write those down. <laughs> they talked about Brian, who was on the show. Brian was dating Miller on the show, but now like Brian just kind of disappeared, and now Miller is with Jackson, who is played by Sachin, and Miller was played by um, Jared. <laughs> Someone asked like, what happened to Brian? And um, Sachin was joking, saying that Jackson killed Brian, like he drugged him and he's just gone. Jared was like, oh, he just kept on walking, uh, or when he walked away from me, he just kept walking and walking and never came back. So <laughs> they were kind of, yeah, joking around about that, but we really don't know what happened to Brian, so who knows. And apparently um, they couldn't, didn't spoil much about the next season, but Clark said like her character like is pretty or changes next season I think I can't remember how she worded it but it's gonna be pretty crazy seeing whatever happens with her character so I'm excited to see that <laughs> and a lot of the cast was talking about how cool it was seeing Eliza in this in season six like doing what she had to do like it was very cool and they all seemed super excited about it. Okay, and then, was it that night or was it the night after? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was that night, Saturday night. Um, I saw Jared, Tasia, and Sachin in the lobby and I I didn't want to bug them. The convention was over. Um, so I walked outside with my mom and I was like, mm, but I want to say something. And then I walked back in and then I walked back out again and I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm going in, I'm talking to someone because I'm going to regret it later. I, I've done that many times before. So I walk in, someone had just finished talking to Jared, and I said, Jared, do, do you think I could get a picture with you? And he was like, oh yeah, of course. And we took two pictures, I'll show them here. He was so nice, and I said, oh, did you have a good day? And he said, yeah, like I didn't feel like I was there for that long, but it was so much fun. And he asked me how my day was, and I said, oh, it was, it was so much fun. It's always fun here. And, um, and he said, uh, thank you so much for coming, and I said, yeah, and then I left, and I was so happy that I did that. Normally I wouldn't be able to get myself to do that, so that was, that was good. I was proud of myself. <laughs> so, and then the next day, um, I was super excited because Paige Turco was at the convention. She plays Abby, Clark's mom on the show, and I love her. She's such a great actress. And I remember the day I found out she was going to be at the convention. I was at work, I was in our like change room at work, and I just saw the tweet pop up on my phone. And I started jumping up and down and there, I was so excited, and then I ran to the car to see my mom and I said, Paige is coming, we gotta go! <laughs> because I wasn't totally sure if we were going to go to the convention at that point, but then I knew like, we have to go see Paige. So she was in the first panel, and in that first panel on the Sunday, I think they started out the panel with, um, they had to pick a line um, from the hundred out of a bag and then they had to pick like a person to impersonate and then they said that line as that person and I can't remember who Paige got, I think it was some older actress, oh yeah my mom told me, I don't remember, but she had a good impersonation and so did the others. I have a horrible memory with these panels. <laughs> like the next thing we did I think after we ate breakfast and stuff was meet Paige. There were a few girls there before we get to see Paige. They're like stand they're like guarding the area or whatever 
and one of them was like, oh, do you have like a pose planned um, to do with Paige? And I was like, oh, not really. And she was like, oh, just a like Paige sandwich. And I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> and then um, when we walk up to Paige, the girl said, oh, you're just doing a Paige sandwich. <laughs> and um, so Paige was like, oh, do you, um, you two can um, like grab each other, like in front of Paige, like grab arms with each other and my mom was like oh but I want to be able to see you and she's like oh you'll see me <laughs> and so my mom and I did it my mom was like oh I don't know how this picture is gonna turn out but this is my favorite picture I think it's my mom's favorite too here it is with Paige in the middle Paige sandwich <laughs> I love this picture so much I love Paige and yeah <laughs> and it is my phone wallpaper too <laughs> just me. I cut my mom out because she doesn't fit in the picture um, for the wallpaper. <laughs> Sorry mom. <laughs> but oops, I just moved the camera. I don't know. What else happened? Oh, so later on, um, we didn't have any more professional photos that day, but we had a selfie that day. I'll talk about that in a bit. But some things that happened in one panel was um, a few of the cast FaceTimed other cast members. Jessica Harmon was FaceTimed. She was supposed to be at the convention, but she was sick. So she was just on FaceTime. She was so sad she couldn't be at the convention. And then <sighs> Tati FaceTimed um, Devin Bostick, who played Jasper, who was one of my favorite characters. And by the way, I got this little keychain of Jasper at the convention, and it's probably not gonna focus, but <laughs> but I love it. Ooh, will it? Maybe. Yeah, I think it is. But, um, yeah, he has a little goggles on, like, on the show, and it's so cute. Yeah, I got that from One Word at a Time. They, um, sell those, <laughs> and they're awesome. So, yeah, she FaceTimed Devin, and, um, a few years ago at Unity Days, when I was in Chris Larkin's meet and greet, he called Devin. We got to see him on FaceTime this time. I think it went quiet for a bit, and he was like, I feel like I'm holding up something. <laughs> he said, oh, it's my first Unity Days. <laughs> He'd, he's never come to Unity Days before. So that was like he was actually there. And then my favorite, th this wasn't FaceTime, but it was a phone call. I can't remember who called him, but someone called Chris Larkin. Spoiler alert, his character Monty died last season and so did Harper. And that was very sad and unexpected. Basically he was having dinner with his parents when he was called. He was like, I'm sorry, Monty's dead. Gotta go. <laughs> that was it. It was it was really funny. We were all like, oh. <laughs> and then <laughs> someone asked a question. Um, I think it was like, oh, when was the moment you realized like this show is big? And Lola was talking about how she, when she was first like starting on the show, I think she was like using the bathroom, and she was like, oh wow, well this this is actually happening. And Sachin was like. Are you talking about using the bathroom or are you talking about being on the hundred? <laughs> and that was hilarious. Like everyone was dying and they just kept talking about using the bathroom. Someone said that they love the cast acting and that they're so nice and Sachin said, yeah, that's acting. <laughs> so they're pretending to be nice. They're not actually nice people at all. <laughs> and then the girl who was at the convention last year, I don't remember your name, but I talked about you in my convention video from last year, if you're watching this. Who knows? The girl who asked the cast to sing A Whole New World from Aladdin last year was back this year and she asked them to do it again and Sachin and Tati really got into it and that was great. I'd just like to thank you girl for doing that. Thank you. <laughs> this is from Saturday I feel like. <laughs> the Saturday panel. I don't know I'm getting the days mixed up. But anyway, who cares. Uh, Tati said we should get her to sing, um, I can't, is it called I Can't Wait to Be King? Um, is it from The Lion King or Aladdin? But anyway, that song, um, she said she knows all the words. And then when I was going to get my selfie, she started, she got up on a table and started singing that. I took a few pictures of her. Everyone was like recording her. Um, and it was awesome. She put on a show for us. <laughs> okay, so getting my selfie. I was going to get my selfie with Lindsay Morgan. Well, the line was pretty long when we lined up. Um, this was at about three o'clock. And then it was 3.30 and Lindsay was going on half hour long break. So we sat there for 30 minutes, another 30 minutes, and Lindsay came back. We waited some more, about another hour, and um, they said Lindsay's going on a 15 minute break. And at this point we were supposed to be leaving the convention to catch our ferry home, so I was starting to get stressed out. And then, after over two hours of waiting, someone from the Unity Days team came up um, 
to our line and said, anyone who just has the selfie, or is just here to get the selfie, has to get out of line. We're only doing the people who are getting autographs, or autographs and selfies. And my mom, like, my mom was getting mad, and this other guy was getting mad, and I was like, let's just go, and we have to go. So I was like, okay, well, let's go get a selfie with Tati. And I asked this girl, like, is this Tati's line? Because I wasn't totally sure. The lines were kind of confusing. And she was like, yeah, it is. And then we told, we're talking to this other girl, and we told her, yeah, this is Tati's line. And then, and then like, t five minutes later, the girl in front of me who told me it was Tati's line was like, oh, wait, did I say this Tati's line? No, this is Shannon's line. <laughs> she was like, oh, I failed you. And I was like, no, it's okay. <laughs> and I was like, well, we already got a picture with Shannon this year, so let's um, switch to Tati's line. Tati's line was taking a while, and I noticed Louisa come into the room. She had a few people over in her line, but not that many. So my mom and I went over to Louisa's line, and we ended up getting our selfies with Louisa <laughs> after all that, after like two hours and 15 minutes. But I'm so glad we did, because she, she's always so sweet. Um, she remembered us, and she said, oh, it's so nice to see you, and um, we were just wanting to get out of there, kind of, to go to the ferries, so we didn't really talk to her too much. We got our pictures with her, we got um, a lady to take our picture, and then um, I was about to grab my phone, and Louisa was like, no, can you take another picture? I want to do something. And she grabbed my mom and I's heads and, like, pushed her heads, like, on her sho shoulder, kind of, and the picture turned out so cute. I will show the pictures with Louisa right now. They're She's just great. <laughs> I love her. Um, that one picture is my background on my phone. Because <laughs> I just love it so much. <laughs> but yeah, that was basically Unity Days. I'm just making sure I didn't miss anything. Not really. I also, I record, I didn't, you couldn't record the panels, but I did like a voice memo of like four minutes of one of the panels. It, was from a funny part where like Shannon was talking about using a urinal for one of the scenes and he actually peed in the scene and he just he was like oh should I stop or should I keep going they're like oh keep going and he just kept peeing and <laughs> he was just going on about that and and also in the clip Chelsea was talking about how uh and this is something I've thought about before she was like um it must be so awkward for you guys just having to stand like the guys asking people asking questions um, she was like, oh, it must be so awkward for you just standing there and waiting for us to answer your questions because they take quite a while to answer some of the questions, sometimes like 10 minutes. And she was like, oh, you're probably thinking like, when's lunch? I gotta pee, gotta do this, gotta do that. And it was, it was really funny. Anyway, <laughs> this video is very long. Thank you for watching and I am going to miss Unity Days if there is another one. It just such a great experience to be around all those fans and the cast. Even the props guys from the show were there too, that was very cool. Unity Events is having a Riverdale convention in November at the exact same hotel as Unity Days, so, and I'm probably going to that, so it'll feel like I'm at a Unity Days convention at first probably, but that's gonna be so much fun, so I'll definitely make a video when that time comes as well. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. So yeah, hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye!